and I'm excited to share with you how you can create a graphic look for any photo, like a posterized look, something nice and crisp and clean, which is hard to do in Photoshop. We'll use a little bit of Illustrator, but let's dive in. Now, the first thing you might try is filter gallery because there happens to be a poster edges in here. So we could select that and see what that looks like. I don't think it looks that great. No matter how much you adjust all these, you wanna get rid of the edges, but you know, it just doesn't have uh, the look I'm looking for. All right, so what do we wanna do? Well, we actually wanna go down here to posterize. So this is our other option for posterizing. We see it posterizes everything. I'm actually gonna just clip it to the woman there and we have the levels that we can play with. So we can start to see what this looks like as I drag this adding or removing levels. But the problem is you have all of these jagged edges. So how can you get rid of these jagged edges and make it look smooth? Well, this is probably the, the best non-destructive way, which would be to add a Gaussian blur on top because the Gaussian blur will smooth it out. You can see what's happening now, smoothing out all those edges, even the very edge. So the more you blur it, the cleaner those lines are gonna look. But it blurs out everything, so that's not necessarily what we want. Or at least it gets us part of the way there for some of the image. So what we'll do is we'll click OK. So anytime we have a smart object and we add a filter like uh, Gaussian Blur, we have this mask that we can play with. So we can start to paint on this mask with black. So we can start to remove and clean up the edge, but everywhere where we want detail, that's where we're gonna remove that blur from. So we can kind of do that again, just around the edges and where we wanna add details also in the eyes. Perfect. The ear, yeah, we want some more detail there. Let's add that again, just by painting. If I turn off posterize, you could see what we're doing. So you could easily work in this mode, uh, but ultimately I wanna kind of view my final results and work with it that way. So we'll sharpen that up like so. We can even do parts in the hair because I really like these lines. It's like painting in those lines. It just gives me nice control when it comes to this posterize effect. Anywhere where you kind of want to make it blurry again, of course, you can paint with white and we can kind of remove those little dots right there. So it's still not perfectly smooth though. Uh, the banding is still there. I kind of like it, but I just want these crisp lines. And what makes crisp lines? Well, Illustrator does. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna select everything and I'm gonna copy merged. So it's gonna copy everything I've just created and we'll paste that into Illustrator. Here's my image. So it looks pretty good, but we can make it look better, which is so nice because we have image trace right up here at the top. It knows it's an image. We'll do like six colors here. There we go. Oh, that's looking much better. And by the way, we can always go to the image trace panel and dial that in more. If you're not aware of this, you have all these controls. If you wanna drag that down, make that more or less, we can do that. But I think that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and expand it, and I just need to remove the background and clean up this image a little bit. And there we have it, our gorgeously clean image, which I think looks really good. Copy it and bring this back into Photoshop, and we'll place it right on top, just so you could see the difference. So here it was before, very rough. Here it is, nice and smooth, love this. Now let's talk about coloring. So I actually wanna remap these colors and we could do that by adding a gradient map on top. There we go, gradient maps right over here. It's currently gray to pink. And let's play with this gradient map. First off, I'm gonna reverse it. We'll click on here and we'll remap these colors to something like this, just for starters. So we wanna have our darks, mediums, and lights. I'll just change these colors really fast. And we can go with something like that. Now let's throw a quick moon in the background. One area where the poster edges actually works out really well is for just a simple gradient. So that's all that's on this. For this gradient, poster edges, we get the banding that we want. We can remap that as well using the gradient map. You get the idea. We could turn that on and here's our final result. And that's how you can create the perfect posterized look, giving you that full control. Thanks for watching. Thank you.